This patient has had multiple breast implant procedures with repeated episodes of capsular contracture. Here the capsule is incised and the implant removed. The capsule is then separated from the surrounding breast tissue and removed. The lower border of the pectoralis muscle is marked by feeling its position on the inside. A temporary implant sizer is then placed. The breast is covered with tegaderm sheeting for improved sterility. The suture locations are then marked along the inframammary crease and along the pectoralis muscle. The acellular dermal matrix tissue, or ADM, is then secured to the skin. Excess material is trimmed where necessary. Small darts are cut into the material so that it better conforms to the shape of the breast. The suture location marks are then transferred to the ADM. It can be helpful to number them to facilitate proper alignment when working inside the confines of the implant pocket later. A second piece of ADM is then fashioned to complete coverage down to the level of the inframammary crease. The two pieces are then sutured together. The suture location marks are then transferred to the second piece. In this case, a third piece is fashioned for the lateral part of the breast. This final piece is then sutured to the other two. The ADM construct is then removed from the breast. Holes are made in the ADM to allow fluid egress across the material once in place. The protective plastic is then removed. The temporary implant is then removed and a drain placed. The ADM is now sutured to the pectoralis muscle at each of the four markings.
Next, bolster stitches are placed along the inframemory crease to secure the lower portion of the ADM. Tegaderm protective plastic is then placed over the skin at the incision site. A solution of betadine and antibiotics is then placed within the pocket. The permanent implant is then placed within the pocket with the aid of an insertion funnel. The plastic sheeting is removed and the implant position within the pocket is checked as well as making sure the ADM lies smoothly over the implant without folds or wrinkles. The bolster sutures are then tied. The ADM is then sutured to the lower portion of the incision to seal the implant pocket. The incision is then closed in layers. Here is a view again of the patient before surgery and here at the conclusion of the procedure. The yellow bolster sutures and drain are removed one week later.